An important concept in nuclear chemistry is the half-life of a radioisotope. What does it mean? Let me briefly give you an idea of how the half-life helps in nuclear applications. In chemotherapy, it allows the oncologist to predict how long the chemo will stay in the system of the patients. In carbon dating or radio dating in general, which means using radioisotopes to determine the age of anything, whether it's a dinosaur that is determined to be 500 years old or anything, the half-life is the central concept in the determination of how long a particular particle has been in existence. So, what is half-life? The half-life of a radioisotope is the time that it takes for the radiation level or the activity of the radioisotope to decrease to half of its original value. Now, I know that sounds like a, just a lot of words, but let us take a look at an example. If you inject iodine 131 into a patient, iodine 131 is used to treat thyroid cancer. If you inject 20 milligram of the iodine 131 into a patient, after one half life, that 20 milligram would have decayed to 10 milligram. Remember, it is the time for one half to decay away. After another half life, the 10 milligram would have decayed to 5 milligram. After another half-life, the 5 milligram would have decayed to 2.5 milligram. In a nutshell, after every half-life, one half of the radioisotope would decay away, remaining one half. Let us take a look at a real-life example. The radioisotope strontium-90 has a half-life of 38.1 years. So the half-life, which is usually written like that, is equal to 38.1 years. If a sample contains 36 milligrams of strontium-90. So we have a sample of strontium-90 and it contains 36 milligrams. How many milligrams will remain after 114.3 years? One thing we know is that after one half-life the 36 milligram would have decayed to 18 milligrams. One half of it would have decayed away. After another half life, the 18 milligram would have decayed to 9 milligrams. Now remember, one half-life is equal to 38.1 year. 
The second half-life is also 38.1 year. So far, we have spent 76.2 years. And after another half-life, we should have 4.5 milligrams of strontium-90 remaining. Now, that is another half-life of 38.1 year. If you add the three half-lives together, you should get 114.3 years. So, if the question is asking us, how many milligrams will remain? Then we now know the answer. It will remain 4.5 milligrams of the strontium 90. Let us quickly go over another question. Iodine 123, which is used in the treatment of thyroid, brain, and prostate cancer, has a half-life of 13.2 hours. So we know the half-life is 13.2 hours. How long will it take? So we know we want to find how long. For a 64 milligram sample of iodine-123 to decay to 16 milligrams after being injected into a patient. So we have iodine-123 and we have 64 milligram of it injected into a patient. We want to know how long it will take to decay to 16 milligram. One thing we know for sure is that after one half-life, which is 13.2 hours, the 64 milligram would have decayed to 32 milligrams. After another half-life, which is another 13.2 hours, the 32 milligrams would have decayed to 16 milligrams, which is actually the target amount we want to know. So how long will it take us to go from 64 milligrams to 16 milligrams of iodine-123. That should simply be the addition of the two half-lives, which should be 26.4 hours. So the answer here is C.